Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this problem. So give the coordinates of the center, foci, and vertices of the ellipse. Then from this given equation, so first, we need to group all x and group all y. So for x, that's 25x squared minus 200x. Then plus 4y, 16y squared, plus 160y, then equals, for this negative 800, so transpose, so this becomes positive 800. Then we need to put this uh, numerical coefficient of x squared and y squared outside. So for x squared, we need to put this 25 outside. So we have 25 times. So this becomes x squared. Then minus this 200x divide by this number. So divide by 25. So 200 divide by 25. That's 8. So we have 8x. Then plus 4y squared, we need to put this 16 outside. Then times, so this becomes y squared. Then plus this 160y divide by 16. So 160 divide by 16, that's 10. So plus 10y, then equals 8. Then do completing the square, so for x, so just take this number, so we have 8, then divide this one by 2, take the square, so 8 divided by 2, that's 4, and 4 squared, that's 16. And for y, so take this number, that's 10, then divide by 2. Take the square, so 10 divided by 2, that's 5, and 5 squared, that's 25. Then for the new equation, so we have 25 times x squared minus 8x. Then for x, add this number, so plus 16. Then plus 4y, that's 16, times y squared, plus 10y, then plus 4y, add this number, so plus 25, then equals positive 800. Then take note that the number you added on the left side must also be added on the right side. Since we add 16 for x, but we have this number outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers and add to the right side. So we have 25 times 16. Then for y, since we added 25, but we have this number outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers and add on the right side. So plus this 16 times 25. Then simplify. So apply the factoring. So we have 25. Then for x, factors of x squared, that's x times x. Since this one is negative, so minus and factors of 16, that's 4 times 4. So we have x minus 4, then to the power 2. Then for y, so plus 16, then times factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since this one is positive, so plus, and factors of 25, that's 5 times 5. So we have y plus 5, then to the power 2. Then equals, so we need to simplify this uh, right side. 
So we have 800 plus this 25 times 16. So 25 times 16 equals that's 400. So plus 400. Then plus this 16 times 25, also 400. Then simplify, so we have 25 times x minus 4 to the power 2 plus 16 times y plus 5 to the power 2 equals this 800 plus 400 plus 400. That's 1,600. Then, since the standard equation of an ellipse always equal to 1, so therefore, we need to divide this 1 by this number. So, divide by 1,600 to make this equal to 1 and also all the terms. So, divide by 1,600 and divide by 1,600. Then to simplify, so we can omit now this 25. So we have now x minus 4 to the power 2 over this 1,600 divided by 25. So 1,600 divided by 25 equals that 64. So over 64. Then plus, so cancel the 16. So we have now y plus 5. Then to the power 2 over this 1,600 divided by 16. So 1,600 divided by 16 equals that's 100. So over 100. Then equals 1 because 1600 divided by 1600 that's equal to 1 so this is now the standard equation of this ellipse then to find the center since in an ellipse a is greater than b and a and b are the denominators so therefore, the bigger denominator is equal to a squared. Then from the standard equation, since 100 is greater than 64, so therefore, this 100 is equal to a squared. And this 64 is equal to b squared. So therefore, this ellipse is vertical because a squared is the denominator of y squared so again this ellipse is vertical ellipse then to find out the center that's h and k and for the vertices this is the formula and for the foci this is the formula so again to find the center since center that's h and k and from the standard equation this one is x so therefore this one is h this one is y so therefore this one is k so to find now the center since this one is negative 4 so therefore h is positive 4 and for k this one is positive 5, so therefore k is negative 5. So the coordinate of the center is positive 4 and negative 5. Then for the vertices, so formula for the vertices, we have h, then k, plus n minus a, since a squared, is equal to 100 so again a squared is equal to 100 so to solve for a 
take the square root. So therefore, a is equal to 10. So to solve now for the vertices, so we have h and h is 4. Then k, k is negative 5. Then plus minus a, a is equal to 10. Then we need to rewrite this one as 4. Then negative 5 plus 10. And the other one. So we have 4. Then minus 5. Then minus 10. So therefore the coordinates of the vertices. So that's 4. Negative 5 plus 10. This one is positive 5. And the other one. 4, negative 5, negative 10, that's negative 15. So these are the coordinates of the vertices. And then for the foci, so formula for the foci, that's h, then k plus n minus c, but we need to solve first for c using this formula that c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Then to solve for c, so we have c squared equals a squared and a squared is 100 minus b squared and b squared, that's 64. So therefore, C squared is equal to 100 minus 64, that's 36. Then take the square root to solve for C. So therefore, C is equal to positive 6. So to solve now for the foci, so we have H. H is positive 4. Then K k is negative 5, then plus minus, plus minus c, and c is positive 6. Then we can rewrite this one as 4, then minus 5, plus 6, and the other one, 4, minus 5, and minus 6. So, therefore, the coordinates of the foci, that's 4, then this negative 5 plus 6, that's positive 1. And the other one, we have 4, then negative 5 and negative 6, that's negative 11. So, these are the coordinates of the foci.